Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the input settings, remove action and axis mapping nodes. Now I'm going to quickly run through an example. We'll hit play. It'll say spacebar and spacebar allows me to jump. Really simple. Well, that's because I don't actually have these nodes hooked up right now, so it's not doing anything. I'm going to hook up our remove action mapping node, and this is going to go ahead and remove whatever I tell it to remove. In this case, I'm telling it to remove the jump action with the key of spacebar with no modifiers. If we look through our project settings, we actually have a jump action with the key of spacebar with no modifiers. Cool. We just used it too, so you know it works. We'll hit play. It says spacebar, and my jump button no longer works. My spacebar no longer jumps. We'll go to our project settings, and look, we no longer have that as a jump. Let's go ahead and add it back in, for example. And we're going to go ahead and actually add in another version of it with a modifier. So spacebar with the shift key. So now we can use the spacebar to jump or the spacebar holding down the shift key as well. We'll go back into here. We'll look in here and you'll notice again, no modifiers, but we are using the key spacebar. We'll run it again. It found spacebar is a valid version of jumping. Spacebar doesn't work, but shift spacebar does. We'll look at our project settings again, and we'll find that shift spacebar is still here, but regular spacebar is gone. So the input key mapping is exact. If there's nothing in there, it will simply fail to remove it and nothing's going to happen. But if it finds the mapping that maps the name, the key, and the modifiers, in the case of the action, or the name, the key, and the correct scale for the axis mapping, it'll go ahead and remove it from your inputs. Now there's a couple things to note here. First of all, you should probably keep force rebuild, rebuild key maps on. This just makes sure everything's up to date and synced. Second of all, in the editor, it will immediately remove the object. It will immediately remove the mapping. In a build, it will not take that into account until you have saved the key mapping. So that's something to keep in mind. This node is not a requirement in the editor, but is a requirement in the build version. So you should probably just hook it up anyways and save out your key mappings to make sure they're done. Technically, you probably only want to call this when you're done doing your editing. Maybe you have a restore defaults. It just depends on what you want, but that's something to keep in mind. These nodes remove action and access fire off immediately in the editor, but will not fire off immediately in a built standalone game. You're going to need to call a save key mappings. Now, in terms of getting things in, as long as you can get in a key mapping structure, either using like a make key mapping or input or access version, or you use like the input key selector, UMG widget, or use anything else, as long as you can get something in here, it'll go ahead and remove it from your list. This is useful for maybe you can grab all your names, put them on your screen, allow the player to change them, and then if they get rid of one, or you're changing one, for example, let's say you only allow one key for jump, you'll probably want to remove the old one and then add in the new one so that way you're not allowing multiple ways of jumping. The inputs are allowing multiple inputs per action or axis. So you have to keep that in mind when you're using these nodes. It's not just simply going to automatically replace one. You have to use the remove node to remove an input action or axis mapping. But that is it. Those are our remove action mapping and axis mapping nodes. They will take the input settings as the target, a valid key map that matches exactly the one you want to remove in terms of modifiers and scales and key and name, and then a Boolean, which should probably be checked at all times. And also remember to call the save key mappings when you're done so that way it'll save it out to the file. 